In this video, we will see the demonstration of serial in, serial out, serial in parallel out, and parallel in, parallel out shift registers. This is the circuit diagram for SISO or SIPO shift register where D flip flops are used and these D flip flops are positively edge triggered. And the external input is given as D in to the first D flip flop. And the circuit diagram for PIPO shift register again makes use of the D flip flop and all these flip flops are again positively edge triggered. The circuits have been designed using Tinkercad. So let us look at the demonstration of SIPO shift register first. So this is the circuit diagram for SIPO shift register. So here 7474 IC has been used, which has positively edge triggered D flip flops. So let us start the simulation. This is the clock LED, this is the input LED, and these four are the output LEDs. And for every positive edge transition, the shifting of data will take place towards the right side. Since input is high, so we will see that the data is shifting for every positive transition. Let us make the input low now. The input LED is low. So now we will see that this data will start shifting towards the right side. And after four clock pulses, all LEDs will be turned off. Now let us make again the input high. We will see that this data will again start shifting towards the right. We can change the data in between also. So I have made this low. So we should see that now this becomes low and the data is again shifting towards right. So now these two become low. This will also become low in the next transition. This will also go low in the next transition. So this is how the data shifting takes place in SIPO shift register. Let us look at the circuit diagram for PIPO shift register. So this is the circuit diagram. Again, 7474 IC has been used because it has positively edge triggered deep flip loss. These four LEDs correspond to the inputs and these four LEDs correspond to the output LEDs and the green LED corresponds to the clock. And since again, the deep flip flops are positively edge triggered. So for every positive transition, the data must shift. Let us start the simulation. So we have 0011. So the output is also 0011. Let us change the inputs now through the dip switches. If I make the input 1011, we see that the output has changed after the clock made the positive transition. Let us change the input once again, all highs. So output has again changed. Let us do it once more, 1011. Now the output will change when the clock has made the positive transition. Let us do it once more, 1001. So the output has again changed. So this is how the output changes in accordance with the inputs when the clock makes the positive transition. We have also made use of the asynchronous inputs preset and reset. At present, preset and reset are both high. If I make preset low, all the LEDs should be turned on. So we see that all LEDs are turned on. If I make clear low or the reset low, all LEDs should be turned off. So we see that all LEDs get turned off. And in order to work it as a shift register, we have to make both preset and reset high. And we see that the parallel in parallel out shift register again starts working. So this is how the shift register works. And we have seen the demonstration using Tinkercad. If you want to tinker these circuits, then you can click the link given in the description below.